right now, it's not by accident and you're not just anyone. You're one of the few destined for greatness. There are no accidents, no coincidences. You're here because you are meant to be. Some call it fate, others call it destiny. But one thing is clear. You have a purpose, and the world needs people like you more than ever. You've felt it before, haven't you? That pull towards something bigger, something more meaningful. Your time is coming and it's closer than you think. Have you ever felt like you're different? Like you're meant for something, more? That feeling isn't just in your head. It's a sign, a sign from the universe telling you that you're destined for more. You're part of a group known as the Chosen Ones. But here's the thing, among the Chosen Ones, there's an even more extraordinary group, the most powerful Chosen Ones. Think about it. All those challenges you've faced, the unique experiences you've had, they're not random. They're preparing you for something bigger. You're not just watching this video. You're answering a call. A call to step into your power, to embrace your true potential. So you've answered the call. But do you know what that really means? It's more than just a title. Being a powerful chosen one comes with a set of unique traits that set you apart. But here's the catch. These traits often disguise themselves. That really means... It's more than just a title. Being a powerful chosen one comes with a set of unique traits that set you apart. But here's the catch. These traits often disguise themselves as everyday quirks or even burdens. But are you ready to see your supposed weaknesses for what they really are? Let's start with your intuition. Have you ever had that gut feeling about someone or something, only to be proven right later? That's not just good guesswork. For the most powerful chosen ones, intuition is like having a direct line to the universe. You often know way, things without I'm being told. Video right now. You sense the energies of people, places and situations with a clarity that can be overwhelming. Think about the last <clears throat> time you walked into a room and instantly felt the tension, even though everything seemed normal on the surface. That was your intuition, picking up on subtle energies that this. others might overlook. It's a powerful tool. But like all powerful things, it can be draining if you don't know how to manage it. As the saying goes, as above, so below. Meaning that just as your intuition can elevate your awareness, it can also take a toll on your energy. Now let's talk about purpose. Do you often feel like you're meant for something greater? Like there's a fire inside you that won't let you settle for mediocrity? That's your deep sense of purpose pushing you forward. It's not just ambition, it's a calling. You might find yourself constantly seeking more, always feeling like there's something bigger on the horizon. Maybe you've been in a job that looks perfect on paper, but every day you feel that itch. Like you're wasting your potential or playing too small. Yes. Or perhaps, no matter how much you achieve, there's this voice inside telling you, this isn't it. There's more. You might find yourself staying up late, diving into books, and learning about spiritual practices. Everything. Trying to search for that something that feels right. And when you help someone, take on a new challenge, or follow a passion project, mm. there's a part of you that feels truly alive. Yes. Like you're finally tapping into what you're meant to do. That feeling right there. That's your purpose calling. And it's not going to stop until you answer. But here's where it gets interesting. Your resilience. Life hasn't always been easy, has it? Mm. You've faced challenges that would break most people. Yes. Yet here you are, still standing, still fighting. That's not just stubbornness. It's a sign of your true power. The most powerful chosen ones have a resilience that goes beyond measure. You don't just survive hardships. You transform them into wisdom and strength. And trust me, people notice. They see how you rise from the ashes every time. How you take what should have destroyed you and turn it into something beautiful. That's why some of them are jealous. They mm. can sense your power. Mm. Even if they can't quite put their finger on it. They see your light. And it reminds them of what they're missing. 
Think back to that moment when everything seemed to be falling apart, but you somehow found the strength to keep going. That wasn't luck. It was your inner power. Think back to that moment when everything seemed to be falling apart, but you somehow found the strength to keep going. That wasn't luck. It was your inner power pushing through, even when you didn't recognize it that time. These are clear signs of a chosen one. Every hardship you faced has only revealed more of who you truly are, a force of resilience and transformation. Leadership is another trait that sets you apart. Have you noticed how people naturally look to you for guidance, even in situations where you're not officially in charge? Yes. That's your natural leadership at work. Mm -hmm. You don't have to try to lead. It's just who you are. Your presence has a ripple effect on the energy of those around you. You don't have to speak for people to feel your power. Mm. Remember when you noticed a friend struggling and without even realizing it, you found yourself offering support or advice that shifted their entire perspective. You may not have thought much of it, but your words and presence brought them peace, direction, or motivation. This is your influence. Even when you're not actively trying to lead, you effortlessly guide those around you. That's your leadership. Mm -hmm. Seeing clearly, staying grounded, and lifting others just by being who you are. But it's not always Same. easy. Connect it requires you to tap into a deeper part of yourself, connecting with your intuition and spiritual insight. Sometimes, it feels like you're channeling wisdom that goes beyond you. Yes. Reaching into a higher understanding that helps others find their path. And even in those moments when you feel tired or uncertain, your soul naturally steps into that role. And remember the time when you followed a gut feeling to go somewhere, reach out to someone, or take a certain action, only to discover that it led to an opportunity or connection you couldn't have predicted. You were in the right place at the right time, and things just flowed perfectly. Your spiritual magnetism guided you to the exact experience or person that was aligned with your path, allowing your journey to unfold seamlessly. All these traits, your intense intuition, deep sense of purpose, incredible resilience, natural leadership, and spiritual magnetism, they're not random. They're the hallmarks of a most powerful chosen one. They're the tools you've been given to fulfill your higher calling. But here's the thing. These traits aren't always easy to live with. Your intuition might make you feel overwhelmed in crowded places. Your sense of purpose might leave you feeling restless and unsatisfied with the ordinary. Your resilience might be mistaken for coldness by those who don't understand the depths you've had to navigate. Your leadership abilities might sometimes feel like a burden, especially when you just want to blend in. And your spiritual magnetism might bring challenges into your life that you feel unprepared for. Have you ever wondered why life keeps testing you in ways that others don't seem to experience? It's as if the universe has singled you out for a special kind of training. What if I told you that these trials aren't random, but are actually forging you into something far more powerful than you've ever imagined? Is it true? As a most powerful chosen one, your path is unique and often challenging. You might find yourself facing obstacles that seem overwhelming, battling invisible forces, or feeling like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. These experiences aren't coincidences or unfortunate circumstances. They're part of your journey. Let's talk about spiritual warfare. Think back to a time when you were proud of something you achieved, mm -hmm. a new job, a breakthrough and suddenly people around you started acting differently maybe a friend who once cheered for your success became distant or even critical or perhaps someone at work who never seemed to notice you before started undermining you with passive aggressive comments or spreading rumors behind your back <laughs> it could be subtle but it felt like they were going out of their way to sabotage your happiness or progress as if they couldn't stand to see you shine these aren't just random moments of bad luck or coincidence. This is spiritual warfare. When others sense your light and power, 
they may subconsciously react to it. And when your energy threatens to expose their insecurities, they might lash out, gossip, or actively try to bring you down, hoping to dim your light so they can feel more comfortable in their own shadow. But remember, your inner strength is your shield. Each time someone tries to undermine you, criticize you, or throw obstacles in your path, see it as a sign that you're doing something right. Mm. Your light is too bright to be ignored. And every time you rise above their attempts to bring you down, you're sharpening your spiritual resilience fortifying yourself for the greater purpose that lies ahead. Spiritual warfare can feel like a battle, but each test only strengthens your gifts, pushing you to rise even higher and shine even brighter. Alongside these challenges, attempts to bring you down, you're sharpening your spiritual resilience, fortifying yourself for the greater purpose that lies ahead. Spiritual warfare can feel like a battle, but each test only just, strengthens your gifts, just two weeks ago. pushing you to rise even higher and shine even brighter. Alongside these challenges, like it. feeling misunderstood is a common experience for the most powerful chosen ones. You see the world differently. While others chase material gains, social status or quick pleasures, you're driven by something deeper. Small talk, gossip, and surface-level conversations often leave you feeling empty. You crave meaning, depth, and purpose. And when others don't share that, it can make you feel isolated, like you're walking a path no one else sees. You may have tried to share your spiritual beliefs, your dreams, or your philosophies, only to be met with confusion, dismissive comments, or even pushing you to rise even higher and shine even brighter. Alongside these challenges, feeling misunderstood is a common experience, pushing you to rise even higher, criticize you, or throw obstacles in your path. See it as a sign that you're doing something right. Your light is too bright to be ignored. And every time you rise above their attempts to bring you down, you're sharpening your spiritual resilience fortifying yourself for the greater purpose that lies ahead. Spiritual warfare can feel like a battle, but each test only strengthens your gifts, pushing you to rise even higher and shine even brighter. Alongside these challenges, feeling misunderstood is a common experience for the most powerful chosen ones. You see the world differently. While others chase material gains, social status, or quick pleasures, you're driven by something deeper. Small talk, gossip, and surface-level conversations often leave you feeling empty. You crave meaning, depth, and purpose. And when others don't share that, it can make you feel isolated, like you're walking a path no one else sees. Yes, exactly. You may have tried to share your spiritual beliefs, your dreams, or your philosophies, only to be met with confusion, dismissive comments, or even criticism. It can feel like they're not hearing you, like you're speaking a different language. And mm -hmm. this can be frustrating when you know there's so much more to life than what they see. Yes. But remember, your perspective is a gift. It allows you to look beyond appearances and understand the deeper workings of the universe. You sense the energy behind words, see connections where others see chaos and feel the truth beneath the surface. This is why you're here, to awaken others, offer wisdom and shine a light on the path for those ready to see. Your journey might feel lonely, but it's what makes you powerful and unique. Know that with great power comes great responsibility. And as a most powerful chosen one, you're shouldering more than your fair share. You might find yourself constantly called upon to help others, to be the strong one, to provide guidance and support. This can be exhausting, especially when you're also navigating your own struggles. Mm. But this burden is also a blessing. It's shaping you into a leader, someone who can guide others through their own spiritual awakening. 
Emotional sensitivity is another hallmark of your calling. You might feel emotions more intensely than others, picking up on subtle energies and undercurrents that most people miss. This sensitivity can be overwhelming at times, but it's also a powerful tool. It allows you to connect deeply with others, to understand their pain and joy on a profound level. This empathy is essential for the healing and transformation you're meant to bring to the world. These challenges aren't punishments or random hardships. They're necessary steps in your spiritual growth. Think of them as a spiritual boot camp, preparing you for the important work that lies ahead. Each obstacle you overcome, each moment of doubt you push through, is refining your spirit and strengthening your resolve. Remember, the most profound transformations often come through the greatest challenges. The pressure you're experiencing is turning you into a diamond, strong and brilliant. Your struggles are not in vain. They're shaping you into the powerful force for good that the world desperately needs. As you face these challenges, remember that you're not alone. There are others like you, facing similar trials and walking a parallel path. Your experiences, though difficult, are connecting you to a larger community of lie workers and spiritual warriors. Together, you are a powerful network of change makers, each playing a crucial role in the grand evolution of consciousness. As you connect with fellow light workers, you might start noticing something peculiar about your own experiences. What if the universe has been leaving you small signs all along, trying to show you just how extraordinary you really are. There are signs that set the most powerful chosen ones apart, and you may have been experiencing them without even realizing it. Let's explore these signs that have been guiding you towards your true purpose. Have you ever felt a sudden shift in your energy, as if something inside you has awakened? This isn't just a mood swing or a burst of motivation. For the most powerful chosen ones, these energy changes are profound and often physical. You might feel a tingling sensation, a warmth spreading through your body, mm -hmm. or a sudden clarity of mind. The tingling. These are signs that your spiritual frequency is elevating, aligning you with your higher purpose. Think about your dreams lately. Have they become more vivid, more meaningful? You might find yourself waking up with a sense of importance as if your subconscious is trying to communicate something crucial. These aren't just random images your brain conjures up during sleep. For the most powerful chosen ones, dreams often serve as a direct line to higher wisdom. They can be prophetic, offering glimpses of future events or solutions to problems you're facing in your waking life. Exactly. Now let's talk about synchronicities. Have you been seeing repeating numbers like 111 or 222? Or perhaps you keep encountering the same six. symbols or themes in seemingly unrelated situations? Six, four, These aren't mere coincidences, and they're the universe's way of confirming you're on the right path. As one spiritual teacher puts it, the universe speaks to you through synchronicities, nudging you towards your path. These alignment moments are like checkpoints reassuring you that you're exactly where you need to be. There's also that persistent feeling, that inner calling that refuses to let you settle for an ordinary life. It's not just ambition or restlessness. It's a deep knowing that you're here for a specific mission. This sense of purpose can feel intense, pushing you out of your comfort zone and urging you to make bold moves in your life. Don't ignore it. This is your higher self guiding you towards your true calling. And have you noticed how quickly your spiritual growth is unfolding? It's like you're on a fast track, rapidly absorbing new spiritual concepts, developing heightened intuition, or experiencing profound insights about the nature of reality. This accelerated growth is a hallmark of the most powerful, chosen ones. It's as if the universe is speeding up your evolution. 
exactly. preparing you for the significant role you're meant to play. These signs, energy shifts, vivid dreams, synchronicities, an undeniable inner calling and rapid spiritual growth are all interconnected. They're facets of one powerful message. You are awakening to your true potential as a most powerful chosen one. But recognizing these signs is just the beginning. The true power lies in how you respond. Are you ready to fully embrace your calling? Are you willing to step into your role as a catalyst for change in the world? The choice is yours, and the world is waiting for you to rise. So have you ever felt like you're meant to change the world but didn't know how? That feeling isn't just ambition or daydreaming. It's a glimpse of your true purpose as one of the most powerful chosen ones. You're part of something much bigger than yourself, a cosmic plan to elevate the consciousness of humanity. Think about it. Every time you've grown spiritually, every challenge you've overcome, you've been contributing to a global shift. It's like each of us is a piece in a massive puzzle. And as we find our place, the bigger picture starts to emerge. Your personal journey isn't just about you. It's about all of us. Let's talk about this collective mission. As a most powerful chosen one, you're here to be a source of light in this world of darkness, to guide others towards higher awareness. It's not just about reaching enlightenment for yourself, it's about lifting others up with you. Remember that time you helped someone see a situation from a new perspective? That's your mission in action. Your growth ripples out into the world. When you become more compassionate, you inspire others to do the same. When you face your fears, you show others it's possible. Each step you take on your path creates a wave of positive change that touches lives you may never even meet. But here's where it gets interesting. This mission isn't just about individual acts of kindness or personal growth. It's about fundamentally shifting the energy of our entire planet. As one spiritual teacher puts it, Spirituality is the eternal yearning to be connected to something bigger than our own egos. That's exactly what you're doing. Connecting to and contributing to something vastly larger than yourself. You might be wondering, how can my actions possibly affect the whole world? It's all about energy. As you raise your vibration, you create shifts that reach far beyond your immediate surroundings. Picture yourself like a frequency tower silently broadcasting a signal that others tune into, even if they don't know why. Your presence alone has the power to influence not just conversations, but the very atmosphere around you. Think back to when you were on your spiritual journey questioning everything. You found yourself in unexpected situations, like running into someone who spoke the exact words you needed to hear, a stranger on a train who dropped a profound piece of wisdom in a casual chat or stumbling upon a hidden book in a second-hand shop that felt like it was waiting for you. These aren't just coincidences. They're reflections of the energy you're putting out. When you're vibrating on a higher level, you attract these unusual, almost underground experiences that shape your path and in turn impact the collective energy. Or consider a moment when you walked into a place with a heavy vibe, a dive bar, a rundown corner store, or a late night gathering with a mix of people, and felt like you could sense the hidden emotions, stories, and energies that others couldn't see. It's as if you're tuning into an unspoken language, and just by being there, you notice how someone who seems like they're carrying the weight of the world suddenly softens in your presence, or how the tension in a space subtly shifts. These aren't obvious changes that everyone sees, but on a deeper, more subtle level, you're creating ripples. As a most powerful chosen one, your influence isn't about shifting conversations or just making people smile. It's about those raw, real moments when the vibe of an entire space shifts because you're there. Or when someone, for reasons they don't even understand, feels like they can breathe a little easier just being around you. You're affecting frequencies, altering the unseen dynamics, and that's how you quietly shape consciousness 
and pave the way for greater change. This collective mission isn't always easy. There will be times when it feels like you're not making a difference or when the challenges seem too great. Mm -hmm. But remember, even the smallest actions contribute to the whole. Every time you choose love over fear, understanding over judgment, or growth over stagnation, you're moving us all forward. Your role in this bigger picture is unique. No one else has your exact combination of experiences, insights, and abilities. That's why it's so important for you to embrace your path fully. The world needs your specific light, your particular wisdom. You're not just a passive participant in this global awakening. You're an active, essential catalyst. And as you step into this role, you'll find that synchronicities increase, opportunities align, and your impact grows. It's like the universe is conspiring to support your mission. Pay attention to these signs. They're guideposts showing you where your energy is most needed. Remember, this isn't about being perfect or having all the answers. It's about being willing to show up, to do the inner work, and to share your journey with others. Your vulnerability, your struggles, and your triumphs are all part of the process. They make you relatable, authentic, and truly powerful. So, how do you fully step into this role? Start by acknowledging your unique gifts. Recognize that your intuition, your resilience, your ability to see beyond the surface, these aren't random traits. They're tools given to you for this very purpose. Use them consciously, with the intention of uplifting not just yourself, but all of humanity. You've been given powerful tools, but there's one more crucial piece of the puzzle. Have you ever wondered why some spiritual practices feel incomplete? It's because they're missing the most transformative element, the shadow work that turns your struggles into strength. As a most powerful chosen one, you're not just here to bask in the light, you're here to embrace the full spectrum of your being, including the parts that scare you. Think about it. We often focus on cultivating our positive traits, but what about the aspects of ourselves we try to hide or ignore? These hidden parts, our shadows, aren't something to be feared. They're actually the key to unlocking your true potential. Shadow work is the process of confronting and healing those hidden or darker emotions and experiences. It's not about dwelling on negativity. It's about acknowledging all parts of yourself and integrating them into a whole, powerful being. As one spiritual teacher puts it, your darkness will attract darkness, but your light will also attract darkness. This ongoing battle between inner demons and spiritual growth is part of your journey. Remember that time you felt an unexplained burst of anger or sadness? or when you found yourself repeating patterns you thought you'd overcome. These aren't signs of failure. They're invitations to dig deeper, to understand yourself more fully. Each shadow you face becomes a source of wisdom and strength. The journey of self-discovery often requires facing your fears and unresolved issues. It can be daunting, but it's necessary for your spiritual evolution. Think of it like cleaning out a cluttered closet. At first, it's overwhelming. You might not want to look at all the stuff you've shoved in there, but as you sort through it, you create space for something new and beautiful. Practices like meditation, journaling, and energy work can aid in this process. They help you connect with your deeper self, bringing hidden thoughts and emotions to the surface. Have you ever had a profound realization during meditation or uncovered a pattern while writing in your journal. These are glimpses of your shadow work in action. Here's a simple exercise to get you started. Take a few minutes each day to sit quietly and ask yourself, what part of myself am I avoiding? Don't judge whatever comes up. Just observe it with curiosity and compassion. This simple practice can open doors to profound self-discovery. As you engage in shadow work, you might notice that spiritual openings often reveal inner conflicts that need to be addressed. This is normal and part of the process. 
Each conflict you resolve leads to deeper self-awareness and growth. It's like peeling back layers of an onion, getting closer to your core with each layer. Remember, the journey of shadow work isn't linear. It involves ongoing cycles of confrontation and healing that contribute to your spiritual maturity. Some days you'll feel like you've made huge progress. Other days, you might feel like you're back at square one. This ebb and flow is natural and part of the process. By embracing your shadows, you unlock your true potential. You become more authentic, more whole, and more effective in your role as a spiritual leader. Think about it. How can you guide others if you haven't explored your own depth? Your willingness to face your own shadows gives you the compassion and wisdom to help others do the same. There's a fascinating connection between this inner work and the broader universe. Quantum mechanics emphasizes the role of observation in shaping reality. This parallels the spiritual practice of mindfulness and conscious awareness. As you observe and integrate your shadows, you're not just changing yourself, you're influencing the quantum field around you. The act of surrendering to your spiritual path, including the shadow work, can facilitate profound transformations and awakenings. It's like you're aligning yourself with the flow of the universe, allowing it to guide your growth and evolution. This surrender isn't about giving up. It's about opening yourself to the wisdom that's always been within you. You've tapped into a deep inner wisdom. Now imagine this. What if cutting edge science lined up perfectly with what your heart already knows? What if physics could explain the very essence of your spiritual journey? It might sound far fetched, but it's happening right now. Think about those moments when you felt deeply connected to everything around you. That feeling of oneness isn't just a spiritual idea. It's mirrored in science. Quantum entanglement shows that particles are connected no matter how far apart they are. Just like how you might feel a loved one's emotions from across the world, particles can instantly affect each other, defying distance. Or consider how your thoughts seem to shape your life. It's not just think positive and good things happen. In quantum mechanics, particles exist in many possible states until they're observed. In simpler terms, paying attention actually influences reality. This lines up with spiritual teachings on how intention and focus create our experiences. Remember that time you had a gut feeling and it turned out to be right? There's more science behind that than you might think. The idea of non-local consciousness in quantum physics suggests that information isn't just limited to your brain. It supports the spiritual belief that intuition taps into a universal wisdom reaching beyond just logic or what's right in front of you. Albert Einstein once said, everything in life is vibration. This isn't just a spiritual statement. It's a scientific principle that underpins both the physical and spiritual worlds. Every thought, emotion, and physical object has its own vibrational frequency. When spiritual teachers talk about raising your vibration, they're not speaking metaphorically. They're describing a measurable change in your energy state. Think about those moments when you felt completely in flow, aligned with your purpose. Science is beginning to understand these experiences through the lens of coherence. When your thoughts, emotions and actions are in sync, you create a harmonious state that can be measured in your heart rate variability. This state of coherence is what many spiritual practices aim to achieve through meditation and mindfulness. And have you ever felt a deep connection to nature, like standing by the ocean, hiking in a forest, or just sitting in a park and feeling completely at peace? That sense of unity isn't just emotional, it's rooted in science. Think about how every part of an ecosystem is linked. The trees provide oxygen, Plants feed animals, and everything works together in a delicate balance. When you see a flock of birds moving together in perfect harmony or watch how bees, 
pollinate flowers. That's the interconnectedness at play. The same principles that allow these systems to thrive, balance, so mutual support and unity, and are what connect us spiritually as well. Just like how the health of one part of an ecosystem impacts the whole, your spiritual energy affects those around you. It's a reminder that we are all part of a larger web, not just spiritually, but physically too. So, that feeling of oneness you have in nature, it's a glimpse of how deeply connected we all are, to the earth, to each other, and to something much bigger. Quantum mechanics and spiritual consciousness are more connected than you might think. Science is starting to confirm what spirituality has always known. These experiences aren't separate. They're part of the same reality. So, what does this mean for you as a most powerful chosen one? It means your spiritual experiences, your intuition, purpose, and ability to influence energy aren't just ideas. They're deeply rooted in how the universe works. When you get a gut feeling or sense the energy shift in a room, you're not just being spiritual, you're tuning into the underlying quantum field that connects everything. Understanding this link can empower you. Meditation and visualization aren't just feel-good practices. They're ways to interact with that quantum field and shape your reality. By developing these skills, you're not just growing spiritually. You're learning to navigate and influence the very energy that makes up your life. As you navigate the quantum field, you might notice an internal tug of war. Sometimes you're driven to act. Other times you're called to reflect. This isn't a flaw. It's a clue to unlocking your full potential. What if I told you that mastering this inner balance could amplify your spiritual abilities beyond what you thought possible? We often see spirituality as all light and positivity, but there's a hidden dynamic. The balance between two powerful energies, the feminine and the masculine. And no, this isn't about gender. These energies exist in everyone, shaping how we navigate life. Think about a time when you felt totally in flow, creating art, solving a problem, or making a decision without stress. That's the magic of balanced energies within you. But more often, we're out of sync. Ever felt torn between taking action and trusting your gut? Or stuck in emotions, unable to make a decision? That's a sign your inner energies aren't aligned. The feminine energy is about intuition, creativity, and going with the flow. It's the side of you that nurtures and trusts the process. The masculine energy is action-oriented focused on leading, making decisions and manifesting ideas. But power doesn't come from favoring one over the other. True balance is using your intuition to sense what needs to be done and your drive to make it happen. How do you find this balance? Start by noticing your patterns. Are you always pushing ahead without stopping to reflect? That's a sign your masculine energy is dominating. Or maybe you're stuck overthinking and not acting. That's your feminine energy taking over. Again, again. How do you find this balance? True balance is using your intuition to sense what needs to be done and your drive to make it happen. How do you find this balance? Start by noticing your patterns. Are you always pushing ahead without stopping to reflect? That's a sign your masculine energy is dominating. Or maybe you're stuck overthinking and not acting. That's your feminine energy taking over. Balancing these energies helps you move through life with purpose and ease. Here's a simple technique to help you recognize and balance these energies in your daily life. Take a few minutes each day to check in with yourself. Ask yourself, am I in a state of doing or being right now? If you've been in constant action mode, take some time to simply be. Meditate, journal, or just sit quietly and breathe. On the other hand, if you've been stuck in reflection mode, 
challenge yourself to take one small action towards your goals. Remember, this isn't about achieving a perfect 50-50 split. The balance will shift depending on what you need at any given moment. The key is to develop the flexibility to access both energies as needed. As you work on balancing these energies, you might notice some profound changes. Your intuition becomes sharper, but you also find it easier to act on those gut feelings. You become more compassionate and nurturing, while also setting clear boundaries and standing up for yourself. It's like unlocking a superpower you never knew you had. But here's the real magic. As you balance these energies within yourself, you start to see the world differently. You recognize the interplay of feminine and masculine energies in everything around you. This awareness can transform your relationships, your work, and your spiritual practice. Nikola Tesla once said, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. And that applies to your inner world too. When you're out of balance, it's like being an instrument that's off key. But when your feminine and masculine energies are aligned, you resonate at a higher frequency, tuning you to the universal energy and empowering you to fulfill your role as a most powerful chosen one. As you resonate at this higher frequency, you might wonder, what's the next step? What if you already possess a set of spiritual tools waiting to be unlocked? These tools could be the key to not just maintaining your newfound balance, but amplifying your spiritual power beyond what you've ever imagined. Think about a time when you felt truly connected to your higher self. Maybe it was during a deep meditation or a moment of profound clarity. Stop its now imagine having to access to that state of being whenever you need Israel it. Has been doing that, That's exactly uh, by what to we're going to capabilities for Iran's proxy forces and by retaliating against Iran for their historic and unprecedented attacks into Israel itself. So the IDF is signaling that they will not back down from that mission. Number two, they're signaling that they uh, view this as defense. Let's watch this one. What did I do it one year ago? Law today. You see, of profound clarity. Now imagine having access to that state of being whenever you need it. That's exactly what we're going to explore today. You see, as a most powerful chosen one, you're not just gifted with extraordinary abilities. You're also given the tools to harness and amplify those gifts. But here's the thing. These tools aren't handed to you on a silver platter. They're already within you waiting to be discovered and put into practice. Mm -hmm. Let's start with the foundation of your spiritual toolkit. Okay. Daily practices. Have you ever noticed how your day flows better when you start it with intention? That's no coincidence. Incorporating daily spiritual practices is like tuning your instrument before a concert. It sets the tone for everything that follows. Consider starting your day with a simple meditation it doesn't have to be long. Even five minutes can make a difference. As you sit in silence, focus on your breath and set your intention for the day. This simple act 
can align you with your higher purpose and prepare you for whatever challenges lie ahead. Journaling is another powerful tool in your spiritual arsenal. Have you ever had a stream of thoughts and emotions that you couldn't quite sort out? Writing them down can bring clarity and insight. It's like having a conversation with your higher self, uncovering wisdom you didn't even know you had. Now, let's talk about energy protection. Writing them down can bring clarity and tool in your spiritual arsenal. Have you ever had a stream of thoughts and emotions that you couldn't quite sort out? Writing them down can bring clarity and insight. It's like having a conversation with your higher self, uncovering wisdom you didn't even know you had. Now, let's talk about energy protection. As a most powerful chosen one, you're highly sensitive to the energies around you. This sensitivity is a gift, but it can also leave you vulnerable. Yes. That's why it's crucial to learn how to protect your energy field. Okay. One simple technique is visualization. Mm -hmm. Imagine a protective bubble of light surrounding you. This bubble allows positive energy to flow in while deflecting any negative influences. You can reinforce this protection throughout the day, especially before entering challenging situations or crowded spaces. Remember, humility is a key component of your spiritual toolkit. It might seem counterintuitive. After all, you're one of the most powerful chosen ones. But true power comes from recognizing that you're part of something greater than yourself. Humility keeps you open to learning, growing, and receiving guidance from the universe. Practice gratitude daily. Take a moment each day to acknowledge the blessings in your life, no matter how small. This practice not only cultivates humility, but also raises your vibration, aligning you more closely with your higher purpose. Now, let's address one of the most important tools in your kit. Stepping into your leadership role. As a most powerful chosen one, you have a responsibility to guide and inspire others. But leadership isn't about having all the answers. It's about being willing to show up authentically and share your journey. Start by embracing your unique gifts and experiences. Your story, including your struggles and triumphs, can be a powerful source of inspiration for others. Share your insights and learnings, not from a place of superiority, but from a place of genuine desire to uplift those around you. Remember, leadership also involves listening. Pay attention to the needs of those around you. Sometimes, the most powerful thing you can do is to hold space for someone else's growth and healing. Incorporating these tools into your daily life might seem overwhelming at first. Start small. Choose one practice that resonates with you and commit to it for a week. Notice how it affects your energy, your clarity, and your sense of purpose. As you become comfortable with one tool, gradually add others. The key is consistency. These practices are like muscles. The more you use them, the stronger they become. Over time, you'll find that they become second nature, an integral part of your spiritual journey. As the line between spiritual and mundane blurs, have you considered the ripple effect of your actions? What if a simple choice you make today could alter the course of humanity's future? The universe might be whispering a greater purpose for you, one that extends far beyond your personal journey. Think about the last time you made a decision that seemed small, but had far-reaching consequences. Maybe you chose to help a stranger, and it set off a chain of positive events. Or perhaps you decided to speak your truth, and it inspired others to do the same. These moments are glimpses of the power you hold, the power to shape not just your reality, but the collective reality we all share. As we move forward, the role of the most powerful chosen ones is becoming increasingly crucial. The world is experiencing a shift in consciousness, a collective awakening that's both exciting and challenging. People are searching for meaning, for guidance, for a way to navigate these uncharted waters. And that's where you come in. 
your journey of self-discovery and spiritual growth isn't just for you. It's preparation for the role you're meant to play in this global transformation. The challenges you've faced, the wisdom you've gained, these are tools that will help you guide others through their own awakening processes. Remember that time you intuitively knew how to help someone, even when you didn't have all the answers. That's a taste of what's to come. As you step more fully into your role, you'll find that your ability to positively impact others grows exponentially. You're not just changing individual lives, you're contributing to a shift in the collective consciousness of humanity. But here's where it gets really interesting. The future you're shaping isn't set in stone. It's fluid, responsive to the choices we make and the energy we put out into the world. Your actions today, no matter how small they might seem, are creating ripples that will shape the reality of tomorrow. As one spiritual teacher puts it, you are here to transform the world. This isn't just an ideal, it's a practical reality. Every time you choose love over fear, understanding over judgment or growth over stagnation, you're contributing to this transformation. You're helping to raise the vibration of the entire planet. Think about the potential impact of your choices. When you choose to respond to a situation with compassion instead of anger, you're not just affecting that moment. You're setting an example inspiring others and contributing to a more compassionate world. When you pursue your passions and live authentically, you're showing others that it's possible to live a life aligned with one's higher purpose. And remember the future needs people like you, individuals who are awake, aware, and committed to personal and collective growth. As the world faces challenges, from environmental issues to social upheavals, the wisdom and energy of the most powerful chosen ones will be more important than ever. Imagine a world where more people are awakened to their true potential, where decisions are made from a place of higher consciousness rather than fear or greed. That's the future you're helping to create. Every step you take on your spiritual path every person you inspire, every moment of growth and awakening, it all contributes to this vision. But this future isn't guaranteed. It requires your active participation, your commitment to your spiritual growth and to serving others. It asks you to step fully into your power to embrace your role as a guide and leader in this time of transformation.
is a distraction. Something is happening all over the world. I'll pause it for now. Alone in this journey, you're part of a growing community of light workers, each playing their unique part in this global shift. Your actions, your energy, your very being is interconnected with all of existence. As you elevate yourself, you elevate the world around you. The path ahead may not always be easy. There will be challenges, moments of doubt, times when the weight of your calling feels heavy. But remember why you're here. Remember the potential impact of your choices, the lives you can touch, the change you can inspire. We've journeyed through the depths of your spiritual calling, uncovering the signs, challenges, and unique traits that set you apart as a most powerful chosen one. But recognizing your role is just the beginning. The path ahead requires courage, commitment, and continuous growth. Remember, your journey isn't just about personal enlightenment, it's about shaping the future of humanity. Every choice you make, every person you inspire contributes to a global shift in consciousness. As one spiritual teacher said, your actions today could change the course of humanity. Now it's time to fully step into your power. Embrace your unique gifts, face your shadows, and balance your inner energies. Keep honing your spiritual toolkit and trust your intuition. The world needs your light now more than ever. You're part of something greater than yourself. Are you ready to answer the call? If this resonated with you, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share it with others who need to hear this message. I want to hear from you in the comments. Should we create a space for all of us to connect and grow together? Would you prefer a Discord community? Or should I create a dedicated platform just for us? Let me know what you think below, and together, will build something powerful. So I need to check with this.